Hello, this is uh, Ed Larson from the Round Table of Gentlemen, and I'm here to tell you about nice little toys that you can get on AdamandEve.com, our sponsor for Cave Comedy Radio. All the shows were all sponsored. It's wonderful. All right, so check this out. On Adam and Eve, for this month, you get the new and improved Silver Bullet for free when you spend $29 or more on the site. This is a phenomenal deal. The Silver Bullet's usually $14.95, give or take the supply and demand in the country at the time. All right, uh, the tagline is for them that they made this, I like it, unbeatable strength in the palm of your hand. That sounds great. Especially when you, you know, so let's explain. I know you don't know what a silver bullet is. A silver bullet's like a teeny tiny egg vibrator. It's one inch wide and about two and a quarter long. And it's got a 31 inch cord coming out the back next to a controller. You know, so you, you jam that up there and you, you, then you can play with the speeds. Now, it goes from very, very soft to way, way too much. You know, so you can get anything you like. You know, if you're the kind of chick or dude with a pussy that, uh, you know, a stiff breeze comes by and uh, you get a twitch, you know, you get a little squirt, you go a little cross-eyed, keep it on low, you know, but if nothing happens when a breeze comes by, if it takes a, a stomping for you to feel something, go for the rigorous. Trust me on this. And hey, this ain't that big. You don't have to be a chick. You could jam this little guy in your ass. Absolutely. Wait, it's only it's only an inch wide. That's nothing. That's nothing. You could put this in, put it on low, and take a nap. The dreams would be amazing. You know, I just don't understand why people don't even have this. It's powered by two AAA batteries. You know, you know batteries. You get them at Eckerd's or CVS. You know, you can pick those up wherever. They're pretty cheap. They're AAA. Nice tiny batteries for a nice tiny little firecracker of a vibrator. Get it over at adamandeve.com. And don't forget to mention Cave Comedy Radio when you're uh, buying your Adam and Eve purchases. Because uh, they're our sponsor. We like to let them know how much we care about them. Alright, so get that new silver bullet free when you spend $29 or more on adamandeve.com. Adam and Eve, where people learn how to fuck. Input the code CCR at checkout to receive a nice little discount, or if you spend enough money, some free porno vids. The round table. Gentlemen! Aye. Let's broaden our minds! Lay on, gentlemen! And let them know what's what! Fire and well! Yeah. It's time for action, gentlemen. Gentlemen of the round table. What's the topic of discussion? Civility, gentlemen. Always civility. Uh, All right. Well, I think, I, not really. We'll just do it. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dear Lord, please watch over the Kissel McNeely Kephart Bong household. What the fuck is that about? Yeah, dude. That's it's fucking nice raw one. over there right I now. I like that prayer, man. That was very <laughs> good. <laughs> uh, please watch over them in uh, these trying times. Uh, for Holden has started playing Skyrim again. Uh, Holden, give me a, a dragon noise. <laughs> That's not a dragon <laughs> noise. Yeah, it's, never heard of dragon. it's a dragonborn it's a noise. Shout. Oh, yeah, okay. it's a dragon yeah, shout. Yeah, oh, a dragon I have noise. A luck yeah. dragon. There you go. <laughs> Oh my god, and somebody in, just got a bone or some yeah. woman just came. And indeed, and indeed, Lord, watch over all the gamers in the room. Thank you for watching over Kevin earlier this week. It happened, Who got you. one hell of, an, of a Halo game. What was your Halo score, Kev? 29 kills, 9 assists, 0 deaths. God was with me. Woo! <laughs> oh, yes, he was. Damn. And uh, God please... likes you to murder fake things. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and uh, please, dear God, uh, please bring me a copy of Borderlands 2 for Christmas. All right, oh, okay. Man. It was just a prayer to your mother. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, well, the great prayer. Welcome to the roundtable, everybody. Who's here? 
Jackie Zabrowski. Hello, oh, Jackie. Are you sick? I'm sick. What's wrong with you right now? Man, I've been fucking hallucinating fever town for the past two days. Any good hallucinations? Did you see Slender Man or anything like that? No, well, <laughs> I wish. I woke up in the middle of the night thinking someone was in the room, and I like woke up, Doug, and I was like, there's someone in the room. He's like, there's right. no one in the room. There's no one in the room. He's like, there is. He's like burst into tears, starting to cry. Jesus. It was great. <laughs> he, he's been having a lot of fun. It's a weird flu virus. i never heard of them making uh, uh, just a person I, oh, completely you don't, insane. You don't, you don't hallucinate when you have a fever? I never get sick. <laughs> I once had a fever dream where I had to help Richard Pryor save the multiverse. How'd you do? See, that's oh, badly. <laughs> that's good. Well, he wouldn't stop yelling at me. Well, naturally. It's, it's the only way he knows how to communicate. In my dream last night, I went to go kiss a chick on a bridge, and she just like like moved away from it and then went up to my ear and whispered, it's never going to happen. <laughs> and I fucking woke sad. up and I was like, come on, man. What? My dream? That's so no. sad. Yeah, man. She had great old tits and everything. Oh, man. It's that's never going to happen. It yeah. is not. She <laughs> whispered it too. I was like, oh, just rejected me real hard right there. That's like the last thing I said. And then, like, I woke up. She's like smiling. Well, that lonely man who never gets laid is Holden McNeely. Holden McNeely hits from the bong. <laughs> And then, of course, to his left is another fellow that never gets laid. Kevin Barnett, I'm out here. <laughs> I'm fuck in. What's right. your gamer tag in case anyone wants to hit you up? Arch Death Squad. Try and fuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> that is the full Arch name Death of it. Squad. Yeah. Yeah. Arch uh, Death Squad. Yeah. Ben Kessel and then sitting in for Ed Larson, the much more attractive James uh, Adomian. Thanks for being here, James. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's me, Ed Larson. Eddie, how's L.A. going, Eddie? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! That's like the smartest thing you've ever said. <laughs> With us, as always, newsman Marcus Sparks. Marcus, what do you got for us today, bud? Russell Rogers, a 32-year-old Californian, was arrested yesterday after he allegedly assaulted a 74-year-old man in a Burger King bathroom. Victim Bill Bayless told cops that Rogers, quote, slammed him in the face with the bathroom stall door, knocking him to the ground. As Bayless attempted to get up, Rogers again struck him with the door, noting, quote, this is what I do to old people. <laughs> <laughs> before, leaving, <laughs> before leaving the eatery's bathroom, Rogers added, I knock you down because you're old. <laughs> it's a legitimate reason to hit somebody in the face with a bathroom stall. I'm Man, I certain. wish. Before I, he, I don't like old people. I would absolutely. Just, just knock them over. I want to say before he passed judgment, was he being really slow? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, he was. I was on the escal Or harassing you about the way things should be. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Back when Truman was president, we knew how to fight a war. But well, whatever, buddy. We're going into shit illegally now. Get with the times, old man. Um, it's fun. I was I was on the escalator. An elderly woman was in front of me, and she was on the left. And you're supposed to walk on the left. And nobody knew that this old chick was in front of me. So I took all of her heat. Everyone was, "Hey, you big faggot! Hey, you big fucking asshole! Walk!" And I'm like, "There's an old woman in front of me. I cannot move." And I had to take the brunt of all of this abuse because nobody understood that there's an old woman in front of me. What am I supposed to do? I Push want her down the escalator. I want you to turn around to your captive audience and go. First off, I'm not a faggot. I have and two it wouldn't brothers. be it wouldn't be a problem <laughs> if I was. I, I want to clarify. Both there of my other brothers are gay. An elderly woman. And this has nothing to do with my sexual orientation. <laughs> <laughs> but I would just like to clarify there's an older Hispanic woman in front of me. What's her race got to do with it? Yeah. I don't know, man. I thought I would provide you a possible different slur angle. <laughs> this PC world we're living in is making it really difficult for me to defend myself right now. I mean, you've been having some tough times lately. I don't think you can talk about it, but you've been doing jury duty lately. I can talk a little bit about it. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Turns out Hispanic men don't like women. <laughs> That's what I learned. The That's rape what I've learned from uh, just unbelievable. I yeah. know. I can't get too much into the actual case, but yeah. yeah, let's just say there are people out there in this world that believe if a woman is wearing a skirt that allows a that is a validation when a man uh, aggressively approaches her from behind and then attempts to put his penis inside of her pussy. So there are people out there that believe a skirt uh, is just an invitation for violent rape. Well, and then I mean, there's communists. And then there's <laughs> communists. Yeah. Yeah. What are we going to do about those guys? I mean, not, rape them. Yeah. Put them in skirts and rape them. That's what I always said to do. Put them in skirts and rape them. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's how you beat, that's how you beat the Ruskies. <laughs> So what's happening with this guy that uh, beat up this old man? Well, uh, here's a here's a look at the guy who do, he doesn't really Whoa, look. Oh, right, he's charming. Like a, yeah, yeah nice he looks, everybody loves this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, he's doing I mean, us a favor. I was, you know, picturing some type of minority or something. <laughs> he's white. Nice. You were racial profiling. What minority were you going dude, with, man? He, yeah, yeah. He, he Russian looks Asians. <laughs> he thought he was an Asian. They like to fight. Martial arts some shit. You know, that's oh. funny. Look at this guy. He looks impish. You know like he's like he knows he did a bad thing. Burger King is an eatery. 
<laughs> um, so is now he he was arrested, and I guess he's going to have uh, some hard jail time, huh? Yeah, yeah, felony uh, assault and. I did not know this was a, a crime one could commit in California, elder abuse. Is it? Uh, yeah, I was going to say, is this a hate crime? Because he so specifically was like, I'm beating I pushed you, up you down because you were old. You were old, right? That's mm-hmm. definitely a hate crime. So that's a hate crime. Yeah. Does that fall into the legislation? Who knows here? Does anybody? Do we have a vote on the room who who dislikes old people? I'm I'm on the fence. Jackie definitely dislikes I don't, them. I don't I'm like not, them. I've never met an old, I've never had an old person in my life, though, that was nice. Right. right. So I think that has something to do with Here's it. Here's my thing. With few exceptions, I've had mostly negative uh, experiences with older people. What's one of the worst experiences? I, I don't know. Just farting around talking about <laughs> Reagan or something. <laughs> <laughs> they love to talk about Reagan and tea. Yeah, and they always have their dumb bow ties on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, but, you know, I don't... I, I, I don't think I need to like accelerate their uh, demise because it's coming yeah. soon enough. I just want to have them like cut off from. I don't think they should be allowed to vote. I wouldn't push them right. down, hmm. but just don't let old people vote. So you, really. okay, so the minimum age is eighteen. What's the maximum age for voting? Sixty. Sixty. Is, <laughs> so eighteen no, to sixty no, no. are your peak years. That's too young. I would yeah, say. Seventy-five. I would say, yeah, seventy-five. Seventy-five. Yeah. I agree Even with that. eighty. Okay. Yeah, put it in, like cut off. I'll like, compromise back to eighty. Eighteen yeah. to eighty. You can I've vote to be idea. executed though. That's the only thing you can vote for. for <laughs> right. Quick, easy death. I, I've got an idea. How's about if, uh, in order to get Social Security, you have to give up your right to vote? Perfect. Oh, Good. That's yeah. a great idea, uh, Marcus. Yeah. I like that. Forward thinking, man. Thank you. I like what you're doing. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Their ideas political. should be good enough that you'll you'll be able to convince younger people to vote how you would at that point. You are forced to become a teacher, which is all that we have old people around for. Hmm. Exactly. It's the only reason we let you keep living. <laughs> Teach somebody something. I'll tell you what, too. Let's throw in an obstacle course also. You can get the Social Security and vote, but you have to get through like a crazy obstacle course. Well, what's course. the obstacle course? What um, do you think? I got my first question. How it's many just a you? simple grocery aisle. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask milk. how many alligators. Um, yeah, it's the alligator pit. What? Did I even say that? No. I was going to say alligator, a pool I of alligators. I know yeah, yeah. You, you had to like yeah. go through, and there's little swinging things that are like, you know, like that show Wipeout or whatever. Yeah, yeah. There's little swinging things you have to get Pendulums. through those. I'm going to go like only two. You don't need that many alligators. <laughs> you don't need too much. You know, because you'll cut it. You got to get cut on the leg mm-hmm. before you go into the obstacle course. So that if you get in, fall into the water, the blood, you know, they'll just come right at you. Also, you have to switch out the alligators because the alligators will get full really fast. That's right. The old people keep falling in. That's and so you switch easy. them out it is for old ones. people to tear their flesh and eat their bones. So I mean, they're weak. Easy. They're like veal, you know, at that point. <laughs> it comes full circle. See, I also worked at uh, Joanne Fabrics for four okay. years, so I oh. feel like that has something oh, to do God, with the fact did? that I hate old people because I worked with only older women, yeah. and they were all just the worst yeah. older yeah. women. What compelled was, you to do that? I was a craft teacher. You got to do. Was I taught a, crafts to kids. Was there a certain pattern that you found that elderly people just fucking loved, like a leopard print or like some bizarre like prison pattern or something? Because they all seem to. Have you ever seen the website hipster or Paisley. elderly woman? Yeah, Paisley. Yeah. <laughs> they all seem to love a very very similar fashion. Oh yeah. Also, they had like the pattern so that the old people could make their own long denim skirt. Yeah. So that pattern was always out of stock. Uh, Interesting. I yeah. still have the same opinion about fabric stores that I did when I was three years old. Can we go anywhere else? Oh my god! <laughs> when I had to go to like Michaels and stuff, does Michaels uh, count as? Oh my oh, yeah, god! I would beg and scream store. for my mother not to drag was me. Was mommy that a crafter? Yeah, she was crafty. She has a sewing nook. What was your? She has a bit of a nook. Was there a specific dress that mommy made for you, Holden, that you found to be extremely erotic? That you flame really enjoyed? boy, yeah. <laughs> was, a lot of so I was like, I'm a flaming boy. I would scream it out, and then everybody would point and laugh. Yeah, and That's you didn't know why. No, I didn't know why. Mm. They were just like, oh, faggot, you know, and I was just like, That's I don't know. Time. That's why. <laughs> I don't think we, we don't, minutes. yeah, we usually don't say the word, but it's That's a special funny. episode, everybody. because James is here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> everybody, everybody goes out of their way to show me they're extra cool when the right, right, right. game comes on the round table. Go say the thing that like hurts the person's feeling no. next to me, so they know that I'm like cool with like hurting their feelings. But I also the meaning, the word don't got no meaning. What you guys don't hear is that they're holding up signs that say ironic and high fiving each other. <laughs> Well, let's uh, let's move over to Florida. Kevin, I think you're gonna like this story. A Florida woman viciously attacked a man after their first date because he wouldn't call himself her boyfriend. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, just say that you're her boyfriend. She looks like my groundlings teacher, my Let's first groundlings it. teacher. Oh, she's oh. hot. Who would date that? She's seductive. Psych- psychotic. She has those crazy eyebrows. Yeah, the eyebrows, they fucking point down. Yeah, That's that evil, man. She's evil. Over them. That's eyebrows. her problem. Is that what down sloping eyebrows suggest? Yeah, evilness. Yes, yeah, definitely. The Joker. She looks like she has a nice <laughs> layer and she weaves spider webs and things. I like this woman. Why wouldn't he date her? <laughs> Third <laughs> shots are never fair because she's clearly been yelling. Yelling and <laughs> that's <laughs> I thought that that's a good mugshot. She looks pretty hot in that yeah. one. Thirty-five-year-old Jillian Lee Martoni. Oh, I didn't know she was thirty-five. Yeah, 35. I thought she was fifty-two. <laughs> Back and talk about it. She <laughs> is, uh, the sun really takes it out on the girl. She is a uh, of Delray Beach. She allegedly punched her date in the face, threatening him with a kitchen knife, and smashed his apartment window with a pair of rocks. Whoa! Was this right pretty- after <laughs> the bill came? No, this was a check. Well, uh, Molina, the guy's name is, let's see here, Efren Molina. Mm. He told police that he met Martone for the first time last week and they arranged to go on a date. Molina picked her up Tuesday and they went out for food and drinks together. After the meal, they returned to Molina's apartment in Boca Raton where they stayed for several hours. At some point, they got into an argument over whether they were in a relationship. Yeah. Martone allegedly made... This guy's made- got to stop going to psychomatch.com. <laughs> it's, just, it's not a website that seems to be favoring him very much. Martone allegedly made a comment about being Molina's girlfriend, and Molina objected, saying he didn't agree with that title. Martone... <laughs> that title? When he was anointed, she knighted him boyfriend? He, <laughs> thrice he did refuse the crown. <laughs> <laughs> Martone became enraged, police said. Uh, Molina told Martone to leave, and that's when she reportedly attacked him. Molina shouted for help, and his roommate responded by rushing to the living room. The roommate got there just in time to see Molina wrestling a kitchen knife out of Martone's hands. Wow, this Martone. is fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Molina then forcibly removed Martone from the second floor apartment, dragging her down the stairs and out the door and called police. It's like the beginning of, uh, what is it, the Flintstones when they kick the dog out? Yeah, what was the uh, Dino. Dino? Dino, yeah. Um, has any, <laughs> we're, we're, not, we're not really like sought after men in this room, and there's uh, well, there's Jackie here. I forgot that you were a woman. To be good, totally uh, honest. Um, Thank you. But is there is, has any guy here experienced that sort of like woman who just so wants to be bad like, with you so badly that she goes absolutely insane and then it threatens death upon you? Yes. Yeah. What is this experience that? like? Mm-hmm. It seems so weird to me. I mean, I mean, mine was a little more like I had to spend like 20 minutes on the phone with this chick after we went on like three dates for the break. I should have just hung up. But right. Still, yeah. I don't it was madness. It was. I'm so glad I didn't break up with her and break up, quote unquote. Like we yeah, literally yeah. dated like three times. And were they good dates? Did you yeah. find this connection was like growing so huge? No, I was and horribly so quickly? bored and right. sort of. Yeah, wasn't there was no chemistry, and then I mm-hmm. was like, ah, I'm not into it. And it was just clearly she felt the opposite way and was just like crying. Like I had just been through a big breakup too, so I'm like, you're fucking nuts. Like yeah. that is crazy. You know what did you do to win her over so much? Because I feel like I, I wanted to show her my dick. No, you did not <laughs> do that. My she would have left. Did you show her your yeah, dick? Dude, I made it talk. I made it bark. That's a cra- it's a crazy pacifier. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. I was just like, baby gets good. Oh, that's but so gross. Not yeah. to, you know. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what'd you say to her? What were the final words on the uh, on the breakup phone call? I was just like, I know we played flick the balls, but we got to end this. <laughs> I'm done with this. You know, it was like you've been great, you've been fun, but I don't see the love. I don't feel the love right. tonight. You know, so it's like let's get this done, sugar, <laughs> sugar honey tone, which is what I called you it. Just Started oh. quoting Lighting King. As soon as yeah, you start exactly. quoting Lion King in a breakup, you're like, I have, I do not care about That's this. That's thing. <laughs> that was That's an a- unreleased B side Elton John <laughs> song where he was like, It's probably not gonna work out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty good story you just made up. The way, <laughs> the way I imagine your life goes is that every girl leaves you. Right, the thing. <laughs> Most of them have. This is why I felt really weird to be on that end of the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a because meter end. It's always, I'm always like, please make it work. Can we, why? You right, know? Right. And she's literally like breaking up with me while sucking like the new guy's dick. You know? Right, she's like, right, oh, right. I'm sorry. It's like a word. Oh, I'm like, that's the thing. It's tough for a woman to re- constantly be rejecting cock. I mean, you're always propositioned you're right. with it, right, always Jackie? Constantly. Yeah, what are your, like, let to- I know you've had to send some boys away. Yeah, I had one that was especially crazy. It was two. <laughs> was it okay, Cupid, or? No. Okay. One, of the, one of the few that was not okay, Cupid. Oh, I remember. I know you're talking about, yeah. They, it was two weeks in. Deutschman.com. <laughs> he wanted to see me every. 
everything. Yeah, it was .com. <laughs> Seems like a bad website to find he a good man. He really said, I love you. And I was like, this isn't going to work. We were in public. And I was like, I'm sorry. we I can't do this anymore. Burst into it. tears. And he started to scream in the bar. And he like ripped open his shirt and pointed at the tattoo. And he's like, you'll never forget this. What's you'll never tattoo? forget this. I don't remember. <laughs> 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 he got it when we had first, like, when we first slept together. The next day, he got a tattoo. Just it a was picture of your was, pussy or no, something? No, it was some quote. It was something like, I, I, I don't remember. They probably. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But um, I, don't, I remember that it was a quote in, like, script, and I thought that was pussy when he got it. Yeah. Anyway, and um, so I just sat there and waited for him to finish, and I just... Left Gently. while he cried. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly yeah, what you have to do. I yep. love you. I think this isn't going to work I mean, out. Well, I guess we're on different pages. Isn't that something? Interesting. I love you after two weeks. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, yeah, mine was after three. Uh, ooh, but I like to say, to stifle that as long as you can. Yeah, is that because I go right to the I love you? I always yeah, love to say the I love you. Yeah, it's big. It's important. Ben's I love my dogs. Big bear hugs. He just yeah. loves yeah. to love. I love, love to love. You know, to love. joke occasionally. You know, yeah. when they yeah. act up and stuff. I think it's. It's his big move so he can sniff her butt, you know. He says, I love you, and then he just goes right for the butt, goes, you know. I'm nice. I'm really nice. I'm a nice guy. I, I mean, no, this is so sad how accurate all of this is. And then is. his red rocket shoots out of the zipper. Right, 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 right. right. God, oh, so he's, bring up dog so dicks, he's a dog. Oh, man, I saw a German shepherd outside of the grocery store today sitting there, legs spread, Panting heavily, just the hugest fucking red rocket I've ever seen. I was like, do something about this. Get another dog in here. Yeah. Make it go away. <laughs> ducks, and, <laughs> ducks and dogs definitely have the worst dicks. Ducks? With, really? I've oh, ducks are corkscrew cocks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cool. well, I'll pull right. one up for you. It's a great children's yeah, story, that you, a nursery rhyme that you just came up with. Dogs and ducks. Definitely the have the worst dicks. dicks. <laughs> I don't know why they fired me for being a kindergarten teacher. I was a wonderful teacher. The kids loved me. I was writing... Uh, Pe- Beatrix Potter style books for adult audiences. <laughs> right, 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 right. Oh, oh Marcus is just so showing Marcus us a picture of a spin? duck's dick right does now. It, is that a disembodied duck's dick? Yeah, yeah. 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 it's definitely off of the that? duck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like it would be good to open up wine yeah, bottles. Yeah, open or... up some it wine. He didn't have anything fun. but ducks in the room. All of a sudden, she's like... <laughs> yeah, if you're in the middle of the wilderness, you have a bunch of wine bottles, but no, no corkscrew, find some ducks. Holy shit, look at this one. Are they made to work as like water? six inches long? Oh, all right, I, we, we don't need to. Are sad. they made to work underwater more than anything? I, I think that's what it is. It really does goes it out spin, there. Though? It does, does spin. It actually, oh, that's amazing. Because at the Sex Museum over there on Forty Third Street or whatever, there's some street in Manhattan. That that's the right. Sex you have a room in that museum. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. do have a full room, and it's just me <laughs> staring at women, and be like, "I love you, I love you, I love you," and kind of come with you. No, no, and they hate it. Nobody likes me because I have no money. I'm not successful. Seeing a dick like that makes me think they should put some pants on. Darkwing Duck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Let's get to Good Darkwing this. Duck reference. Oh, man, yeah. I forgot about Darkwing Duck. I, apparently it doesn't hold up, though. Apparently it doesn't hold up. It doesn't. Yeah. No, because we're no. adults now. Yeah, we're it's not a supposed cartoon to be watching children. It. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Well, right, but too. apparently Batman the Animated Series holds up. That's different. Yeah. Batman yeah. is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That's different. <laughs> it is. Oh, that's an amazing yeah, series. Of course the Batman Animated It's fucking awesome. They had motherfucking Danny Elfman on the track. How are you going to have Danny Elfman making music for a cartoon? It's ludicrous. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus, what was your girlfriend's story? Was she a real psycho? Three weeks, says I love you, and then you broke it off. Huh? It ended with a knife. She brought it out on you. Mm-hmm. And then she did she take some stab at uh, stab No, at used you? it on herself. Is this she a- cut herself. Yeah. And where did she cut herself? Legs. And uh, was she what? bleeding? Did you cut enough to bleed? No, 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 no. It wasn't that sharp of a knife. Butter knife. Is Luckily. This the, is this the same girl you ended up having to stay, sleep in the bed with her overnight? While she was yelling, I hate you, over and over yeah. again? She eventually left. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. No, Why is, would you even let that happen, though? Why did you sleep on the couch or something? I well, sleep with the chick. She's I already mean. cutting herself, you know. You might as <laughs> right. well just like, give her whatever leg. she wants. What does that even mean? Like she rolled up her pant leg or she, was she just yeah. naked? Uh, she was already naked, yeah. Okay. You Yikes. broke up with a naked woman. That is rude to do, Marcus. Well, I broke <laughs> up with her and then she got naked. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How does and that then, go down? And then she, uh, she, I mean, this was fucking, I mean, this was like college. Fuck forever ago. Uh, but... She tried taking off my pants, and this is Your after wool. this is <laughs> this is after she had yelled, "I hate you" over and over again, right. like screaming at me and punching me. Uh, she, so you were beginning to feel a connection. <laughs> <laughs> so she's taking off my trying to take off my pants. I'm like, "What are you doing?" She's like, "Come on, you know." I was like, "No, no, no, I don't want to." She's like, "Why not?" 
I was like, well, one... You, you little baby. Hey, hey. She's like, well, why not? I was like, well, you know, for one, you just spend about 20 minutes yelling, I hate you, over and over again. And she looks me dead in the eyes and says, I do hate you, Marcus Parks. I'll hate you until the day I die. <laughs> Which oh, is right man. now. Yeah. That's well, awesome, man. That's I would have fucked her. Yeah. yeah. No, you should have no, fucked the bejeez out of her. That's not super hot. Let her I bite your to. dick. Come on, let her bite I, your dick that's off. That's I mean, she would have bit, bit his dick off. <laughs> and she was like yeah, yeah. super fucking stinky hot. Like, yeah, so, yeah. so hot. That's Good pussy thing. on her. Yeah, I mean the sex was amazing. The sex like was pink, great. So what was the, asshole. What was the issue other than the obvious psychosis and overall uh, homicidal behavior? Uh, I don't want to go into it. All right, yeah. that's a good story. <laughs> yeah, All right, we can move on then. Yeah, we can move on. Does anybody else has any James? Any crazy guy stories or chick stories or whatever? Oh yeah, 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 lots of them. I mean, All right, <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? Um, well, you know. There's, there was a lot of, I mean, it's mostly just crying and whimpering. Right, right, right. right, right. <laughs> and can I sleep with the bed with you one last time? That kind of thing? Uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, just, yeah, yeah. I, it just makes me feel bad. No, I know. I, here, the answer is not, not everybody can sleep in the bed with me. <laughs> <laughs> you were lucky that we got sad, to do that. Right. It's a sad realization. I feel like an asshole because I've been on the other side of it, too. Yeah, I was, I def- oh, definitely. Yeah, I've yeah. definitely been like, can I just come over one more time? And then I just came over and just like cried at her for fucking oh, two I'll hours. Never, I, had I, a guy, uh, I had a guy like come up to my second story apartment and sleep out on the balcony. <laughs> wow. So yeah, climbed crazy. up to the balcony? You couldn't get in. And, uh, a real Romeo. I just in the morning. hiking up what, the balcony. <laughs> what was your reaction when you saw the man, you know, I took him in, I f- gave him coffee, and I said, let's talk later. <laughs> <laughs> and did you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of yeah, course. Yeah. And you guys had sex later on. Several times. Good, yeah. good. <laughs> well, he loves you. Yeah, I cried in front of my girlfriend Stephanie in college, and I said I used to be so fat. And then I just wanted to go to the bar, and I'll never forget it. And I was very traumatized. And you can't fuck a woman after you cry in front of her. No, I mean, no, I do it's believe over. that uh, women want you to cry when they're like nineteen, and then as soon as they actually see a man cry, they never request it again. Yeah, yeah. women don't like to watch it. No, no. I no. think it's uh, specifically if you cry over them. Yeah. Right. If you cry, if you're just crying, it's like hey, I just realized my grandfather raped me, and you're crying that's about not that. Good. If yeah, your grandfather just okay. died, well, you're allowed to shed kind of a deal to- breaker. <laughs> but maybe it's like if your dog died or something. You're allowed yeah, to shed yeah. one tear for a father's death because yeah. it's a masculine show of a emotion. A big black tear, but it yeah. has to be very <laughs> controlled. <laughs> yeah, in Texas, those those uh, that's one of the only things you're allowed to cry about. You're your allowed your father to dies. You're allowed to cry about a, a relative dying and football. And when Obama got reelected, yeah, that too. Are <laughs> those <laughs> rules written somewhere? <laughs> Nothing makes me happier than it's to written win. in piss on this rock. We got to keep on writing it. I can't. It's believe written it. on the steps of the Austin State Capitol. How intensely people torture themselves over like, the way it's done is the way it's done. <laughs> Why is it done that way? Cause it's done. <laughs> All right. Can't Nothing, argue I'll with built that. up a mythology around it. That's why. <laughs> Nothing makes me happier than to look up on YouTube dudes crying about football. It is the funniest oh, shit oh, in the fucking world. Oh, I talked to Kep, our roommate, Jason Kep, or holding it to myself today, and it was like before the game, he was the Dolphins game, he was very excited. Mid game, he's like, it's a game. And then I called him, and uh, you can just tell they uh, the Dolphins lost yeah. immediately. I watched him walk into the apartment, straight into his room, turn the lights out. He's just been in there. We don't even have to game. watch football. We just yeah. look. Look at Kep's that's, face, yeah, and we're like, no, we don't get exactly the right reaction when you play football. Right, exactly. No, but the players, yeah. the, as soon as they lose, they're like, oh, thank God that game was over because I'm a multi millionaire. <laughs> I'm going to go fuck a lot of chicks right now. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. That's a, the crying over football is only allowed. If you are in the game. Yeah, if you're yeah, like yeah. a high school player. That's it. Yeah, if you're a high school player sulking. and you lose like your last game. Like My last, last game when we season. lost, I was like sulked for a week. Yeah, oh, you played yeah, football. You don't understand. You don't understand. I was the same way. <laughs> we were, were a team. You were a football player in high school, James? Yeah, yeah. What was your position? Center. <laughs> That's the toughest position. Yes, I've gone over this. Uh, All right, forget about it. Marcus, what's <laughs> another news story? <laughs> Actually, I'm... Uh Let's see here. We're going to go to some uh, local British politics on this uh, one. Uh, local British politics. Kind of not a possibility. What? what? And uh, I'm going to need your help on this one. Pip, pip. <laughs> There's a, a, a sporting assignment, I'd say. <laughs> Labor MP Ben Bradshaw has a c- complained to the Commons authorities that... Urine seems to be pouring <laughs> into his office. <laughs> the offending liquid is trailing down a corner of the area in which one of the former culture secretary staff works. The leak is coming from a toilet upstairs, the, although officials insist there has been no damage. But a spokesman for Mr. Bradshaw told the BBC, 
The whole office smells of urine. <laughs> <laughs> His staff have put a bucket in place until the problem ends. Mr. Bradshaw, the MP for Exeter, tweeted, Urine seems to be pouring to the ceiling into my Cobbins <laughs> office for the second day running. <laughs> Great stink. <laughs> and are a- you working the whole day, even though this is happening? Like, are yeah. they just going to work? It's just so tough to do all this paperwork because there's urine <laughs> dripping out of it. And Aid told the BBC the house authorities had at first claimed it was water that's just a bit stagnant, but the whole office smells of urine, basically. <laughs> he added. It's dripping from a corner. We've got a bucket underneath, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it started yesterday and they fixed it, but it started again today and the house authorities are aware and they are getting it sorted. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, uh, so that's the yeah. whole story. So this guy's just going to work, and PP keeps on dripping from a ceiling. I mean, that must be a distractor. It's difficult to uh, get your paperwork done when you're surrounded, when you're living in a urinal. Mm-hmm. Was he from the Labor Party, the Conservatives, the uh, Lib Dems? Yeah, he was a Labor, yeah. Labor He's guy. a Labor Party guy. Well, mm-hmm. I'd say, yeah. I guarantee you the Conservatives are drinking a lot more water as soon as they found out that all their PP is going into this guy's office. <laughs> if you ever watch Prime Minister Questions, sometimes the Prime Minister has to answer questions that are about that. Are you money- Hey, where it's yeah. like... <laughs> That is a leak, Mr. Prime Minister. What do you have to say about it? <laughs> I would love to watch that uh, exchange occur. And it is not the first time that unsavory waste has disrupted proceedings in the Palace of Westminster. During the Great Stink of 1858, the Pong It was caused... literally called the Great Stink? Yes, yeah. it was called the... The uh, Great Stink <laughs> of 1858. The pong caused by waste emanating from London's drains into the Thames was so bad that the authorities considered moving proceedings to Oxford or St. Albans. I move that we adjourn. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like a pussy. I like. I think it's funny that they're like, no, 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 it's stagnant water. That's not piss. It's like, you don't know what piss smells like by right. now. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it not <laughs> so, it's yourself. dripping. Stagnant water is sitting. This is simply <laughs> dripping from the ceiling. <laughs> well, that's good. So, and we had uh, New Year's Eve. I, I want to sh- say it was sh- like... Four years what? ago, we, <laughs> we had we had uh, New Year's Eve. Four years ago, our entire ceiling crashed through with uh, toilet water. This is the apartment uh, in Brooklyn that the, I live like in now. New Year's Day, yes, right, yes. Right. And um, we, fa- I came to find out later on by the drunken dude that was uh, living above us. He was just like wasted. He was just like, yeah, you know how that happened? A fucking tampon got clogged in the toilet. (laughs) So it was all like tampon water Uh, that literally covered our kitchen. Do you think that the Uh, tampon is the most disgusting part of that water, not the shit or the urine? It was the Well, uh, because it was just straight up toilet water, but it all went through a tampon. It wasn't like smell like But it kind of filtered it. Yeah, I guess it filtered it. I mean, that's the tampon's jab, jab, naturally. That was the the yeah. leak would have been a lot worse, pal. That's right. <laughs> the tampon might have saved our entire apartment. That's true. Yeah. I did that uh, to my uh, to the guy who lives in the basement uh, below me. Clogged up the toilet with a bunch of shit. Ended up trickling shit water all over the nice Jamaican uh, man who lives in the basement. Uh, that's not man, nice, Marcus. Why you hurt my culture like that? Man? <laughs> Damn. That's what was his awful. reaction when you confessed to the shit crime? I was not there when all of this happened. This was recent, actually. This yeah, was yeah, like this, a week uh, ago yeah. This was a, a few weeks ago. How yeah. big was this dump of yours? It was gigantic. I did mean, it break it the huge. water? Did line? it go halfway down? Yeah, it went halfway down, uh, and then the toilet kept running, and then it overflowed because uh, I took a shit right before I left the house, and uh, I got a very angry call from a Hasidic man. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you landlord. did. Yeah, you, you clogged it all up there. Yeah. With your shit trickled all over. I've him. been the victim kind of, of that gross. kind of crime. <laughs> How did you feel when you were the victim of that crime, James? I, I went to uh, my landlord. I said, oh, <laughs> "Please, the court. It seems that there's a bit of a leak." <laughs> uh, what's in your the water? Your lordship. <laughs> uh, there's ter- your turds in your apartment. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Just floating around, American huh? American landlord. <laughs> Stepping around, huh? <laughs> That's weird. God, I love this country. I can do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> anyway, wear the turds for is, shoes. Is, That's what I recommend. <laughs> is there any protocol for the removal of waste products from one's domicile? Stomp on it. <laughs> Stomp on the turds. <laughs> yeah, it just becomes the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. All right, Marcus, do you have any other news stories? Next story. Uh, a Belgian husband has spoken of his horror after learning his wife of 19 years used to be a man. 
What? Oh. Yeah. The duped 64-year-old, named only as Jan, said he had no clue his bride had been born a boy. The shocking revelation only emerged after almost two decades of marriage when a cousin from his wife's native Indonesia finally exposed the truth. Jan told how he met Monica in 1993 when she arrived in his hometown of Antwerp as an au pair to his sister's children. He described her as... What's an au pair? Uh, nanny. nanny. Uh. He described her as, quote, very beautiful and feminine, but said he now understood why she was, quote, no good at ironing. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> he so he broke that's up with her what, over this. That's what tipped it off. Yeah. <laughs> no, I I get those wrinkles out of those fucking shirts. <laughs> he, he left her because she was born a man. Uh, well, they still share a home, but they barely speak. So you can get a, a full on pussy hole to the point where the guy would never realize. Oh, Easy. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. We could get you one right. We can get you one this week. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. You know Do you want one? one? I'll fuck you, dude. Yeah. Right in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's they. Uh, they turn the uh, dick inside out, uh -huh. and your dick becomes your pussy hole. That's right, and that's why it, you also have sensitivity because the cock of your head is now the back of your pussy. Mm hmm. Interesting. Gotcha. <laughs> but Weird, why did he break yeah. up with her over this? I mean, who cares? He yeah. obviously loves her twenty. Yeah. Yes. I mean, she is a years. woman. She looks like a woman. Smells. I mean, Kevin, what do you think? Because I, I know, know you, man. He was duped, man. He was bamboozled. He was but high low. Every woman is full <laughs> of lies. They're all full of lies. I mean, the fact that she does, she used to have a dick, is probably the least of the lies that she told this poor man. But I feel like that's a real. That's a pretty. That's a big level of deceit. That's something you got to tell. Yeah, but how do you years, tell though? somebody? What, what, on the third date? Fourth yeah, but date? You, like, she you loved him. She didn't want to lose him. A, you can't Yeah, you tell him on the third or the fourth date. Yeah. That's exactly Are what you, you tell then you, then, then you end up in those stories we were talking about. Pretty, I love you. You know what? This isn't going to work out. Yeah. That's what's going to happen. I, 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 I'm proud that that worked out so long. That yeah, a, 20 that was a twenty-year years. relationship. Twenty yeah, years, almost. I mean, who gives a shit at that point? I feel like you just have to yell like no contest after that point. You yeah, know, you're just like, oh, you got me. You this know? guy just was, has to realize that he's gay. You know, we just need to tell. Him. Yeah, what? it's a different. It's huh? not it's true. It's a different it's thing not when you gay, fall no, for trans people. Right. So we're it's a different thing. Have you ever gone with a tranny? Has anybody here ever gone with a tranny? I know oh, they've won't, they won't, they've. Uh, I've been approached by lots of trainees. Yeah, they, they <laughs> definitely approach you. Kevin, you fucked a dude one time, right? <laughs> is that wrong? Is that wrong? <laughs> I can fuck out of here. They're oh, aggressive, is that wrong? Oh, though, I'm man. sorry. They're great. Like, I, anytime I'm down, like, in the West Village. On your money, night, you go to the West Village. No, dude, and you it's put fucking, it's terrifying. I don't, I don't even trust any black girl I meet in the West Village because nine times out of ten it's a dude <laughs> and they're fucking aggressive. No, that's a, that's a thing, man. So really? Like, I don't know what it is about black dudes but they can turn into women so well. Never know really? the Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. And they won't leave me alone, dude. It's like I'll be on the other side of the train. Like, they're on the other side of the platform and it's been to where they're like, hey, hey, and they're waving at me. I'm like, I'm not even looking at them. When they keep doing it, I walk to the other side. They'll come out, hey, that's happened to me before. Do you hmm. feel disgusted? Do you feel, uh, do you feel honored? Do you feel like a lady? Uh, it is whatever, man. It is oh, whatever, man. yeah. You know, yeah. Fucking no dude, one ever. Man. See, what I found You could at least whistle back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could be a little bit nicer. See, I found out of the races, uh, black people and Asian people make the best trannies. Uh, There's this fine ass like Asian tranny I see mm -hmm. all the time. Lower East Side, she's running around there. Gorgeous. Yeah. You would never even know if she didn't roll with a crew of giant ass nigga tranny. Like she, has, <laughs> she has that whole crew. And then you hear her voice and it's just like, I remember I saw it like, cause I would, it was like a year where I'd, I would just pass by her like every weekend. It's one of those things where it's like anytime you see a girl, it's just like dressed like, like the way you would dream of right. like a girl you want to fuck is dressed as probably a Because she has the dude. mind of a man. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so I would see her like all the time and fucking she just would be with this pack of niggas <laughs> and then like uh, I remember there was this dude like hollering ho hollering at her and it was like one of her friends like that's some man that's some man you know that's some man and the guy was just like he was like didn't believe the, the, uh, the other would girl. you fuck yeah. this chick no dude it's, it's, it's a dude I don't but understand, it, I mean, though. You, I did, bet... you did give her the feminine, she. And yeah. I bet Sometimes that, uh... you pull it off so well that you deserve to get fucked. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I bet, like you said, she'd probably know how to please a man better than any woman ever would. She's gonna right. try. Yeah. I think that's pretty great. Yeah. Anyone here ever jerked off to tranny porn? No, I the only to do it. I'm the only one, huh? But it's like, how much... <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna end that conversation before it even starts. But the, the thing I, I wonder so about, though, too, is like, how like how much is that... You look up, like, how much that operation is. Like, how do so many of them have this? That probably isn't covered by insurance. So oh, no, most money. of them still have the dick there and the is, balls. Uh, it's very difficult there to was, go through with There it. was just a... Um, I can't remember what it was, but uh, it was. there's a prisoner somewhere here in America that was able to get the taxpayers to pay for... Uh, his to her uh, sex change surgery. Did, then did she get transferred into the female prison? Yes. 
I mean, if well, it's that sense of male prison, I would immediately be like, you know what? These tits, I need a <laughs> pussy to go with it. Because I need to get the fuck so, out of rape town. Yeah, you're suggesting, seriously. You're suggesting uh, like a Jack Lemmon uh, prison strategy. Yeah, sort of like a prison <laughs> Joanna man. Get where know? the games are. Interesting. <laughs> well, this is from costhelper.com. Uh, cool, and yeah, why? Well, because you want to get the best deal if you're going to do your sex reassignment. You know what? You don't want the best deal. You want the best pussy. I mean, come on here. Uh, The typical cost includes expenses incurred during the year before surgery. Uh, Actually, we can't get you a pussy next week, Holden. I'm sorry. You have to do it it for a year. It takes Um, a year. Estrogen treatments, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You have to put like a log up there and keep stretching it back. No, I think you're a bad doctor. (laughs) (laughs) Does that work? Because all a doctor does is punch the tip of your dick until it goes into itself. (laughs) It's kind of like two long unedited porn videos. Yeah. (laughs) That's what we do. God. Oh, what, what if you uh, hold this, me, like hold him a nearly family practitioner would just be an amazing TV series. Yeah, yeah. Does a dude with a tiny dick make a tranny with a tiny pussy? Is yes. that, is that yeah. that's what yeah. really yeah. We're all equal. Yeah, just you know, you they slice just... it in half and <laughs> wow, you're the worst of the men, and then you become the best of the women. That's great. no, because your dick can't fit in. Like oh, it's, you're yeah, gonna be yeah. just like ding ding ding. Monk, monk. You never yeah. know that. I feel like there's a wide range of acceptable <laughs> sizes and penises. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. know if it's the same way with pussies or not. Yeah. I've I never had a pussy, so... Yeah, no, because it stretches and stuff. So you could get anything up there. It doesn't matter if it's, like, the tiniest a woman. A foot you or a toe a or just a TV ball, yeah. dinner if you don't have a microwave. Exactly, yeah, Anything yeah. that's 98 the degrees will melt cheese. inside of a pussy, Ben? Well, my dick, number one, <laughs> it's extremely odd. Uh, no, I finger fucked a chick with a uh, chair, uh, so I guess you don't I wouldn't say finger fucked. Like the leg Maybe. of a chair? Uh, chair uh, no, I'm her. just kidding. I never actually uh, did. I want to I bang a chick with a crucifix, though. I always thought that would be kind of fun. That'd be do. fun. That, especially yeah. if you had a music video of some kind that you could work it into. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? You can probably find a crucifix dildo at adamandeve.com. Absolutely. Adam Where if you enter CCR in at checkout, you can get 50% off one item. And you can also get some free porn videos if you spend over a certain amount of money. That's a very big so thing that you just said. CCR checkout. And uh, make sure when you go there, spend a certain amount of money. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jackie, have you been with a micro Has anyone here ever seen a micro penis? There was one guy that I went to high school with when, when, when we would uh, take a shower. His dick didn't, uh, I, you just couldn't see it. And his pubic hair was too long. Uh, yeah. to, like It was just. Even I mean, harder, like, this was flaccid. Well, I mean, it was flaccid. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know if it could get hard. It was half the size of a pinky finger. I mean, what a terrible... Hey, pal. Uh, I'm, not a sh- I'm not a shower. I'm not much of a crow either. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm like a, Certainly not a I'm like a CIA agent of dicks like you never know I when I'm like around. I feel like we talked to you about this before. You definitely had a small a micro penis dick? experience. No, never. not that small. Oh, not okay. like pinky size small. Yeah, I have watched. I did thing. have a friend that had a dick so small that he would put it in the top of a water bottle at parties, uh, like because he thought it would be funny. And did he get laid after he did this? Of course great he didn't. Water. He couldn't no, get no. hard. He couldn't stay hard long enough to really get laid. Whoa! Uh, so he. Oh shit! But well, I mean, you know, you, you kind of got to own that. If yeah, you, if the you little have dick, it, you got to own it. Are there the di- micro penis, yeah, you got to own that one. I mean, also, I bet it's really easy to suck them off too, because it's like a swizzle stick. It's like yeah, you're sucking on a straw. feel like there's some pedophilic, uh, you know, it's Jersey. really dusky. It's really easy to get fucked by him. If yeah, really yeah it's like, if but you, you wouldn't even. I love that we, we we timed that so that after you were saying Jerry Sandusky, I'm going like, yeah, but it's great. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you the wonder of a small penis. I was talking about adults. <laughs> <laughs> Seemed like it would be kind of like a knuckle, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I've been with some comically small. Uh, Guys, what's the smallest okay, dick yeah. you've ever seen? I mean, it's just com- like 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 that big, hard. Okay, like, so he's really le- small. Let the record show. He has showed about two inches yeah. uh, between his pointer and his thumb. And, 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 and quite round you- or very thin? Just thin. And like, then, a, yeah. and what's like a strong stick. What do you do? Just laugh and be like, all right, fuck it. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you laugh, but you quickly play it off like it's lovers laughing. Like, yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> I'm like, right, right. So much fun. <laughs> and so did you, did you like go all the way with it? Was Or was it a well, turn off? for James? Like, I mean, he, he still has like a version of a pussy to fuck, you know? I mean, that's the thing. It's what's like James's an, version of a pussy? A, an asshole. I mean, yeah. you know, I'm saying like at least like, you know, you can enjoy the Oh, yeah, sure. Asshole. You got that. Yeah. <laughs> that's, there's always plan B. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> I actually want to see a sketch of a gay man going to get plan B, just not understanding how babies work. <laughs> and he just came inside of me. I'm not on the pill. Sir, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be okay, sir. <laughs> oh, that would be a. I would. Lo- that's great. Well, let's write show, it. We'll, show up to the to right, Planned right, right. Parenthood. Like, uh, yeah, do it like real style. Do it like yeah, 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 uh, in yeah. reality. Like just dude, like try to get an abortion in your cameras. ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just so scared. You I know, just I don't just know. <laughs> I've seen all the videos. <laughs> <laughs> an anal abortion. It an sounds very abortion. fun. That at uh, least sounds like a punk rock album. <laughs> yeah, anal abortion sounds like a great band name. Um, all right, Marcus. Any other news stories, <laughs> or we can talk about James's uh, small micro dick experience. I've had a little bit huge more. ones too. You've had some big ones. <laughs> All right, so we got a two inch We're, of the tiny. How big is the biggest? Yeah, too big, like ten. Too big to do what? Ten, ten and thick. God, ten, and how heck. thick are we talking here? I mean, like, like, not. Let the record show. Not he is quite holding up a big. can of tecate. <laughs> not quite as big as a can of tecate. Like, like that. Okay. Yeah, if I crumple it up a little bit. Like, <laughs> uh, right, man. That's great. And did you take that one? Or oh, do you no, give? No, you give. No. That's where suddenly we're just playing kissy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So you actually, so you fucked the micro and didn't take the bigger. So theoretically, it's better to have a micro than a huge dick. I prefer uh, average size. That's my well, favorite. of course, yeah. yeah by, everybody, by yeah, yeah, yeah. most That's, people do. Yeah. Well, so if you're a small guy out there with a small dick, you know, feel comforted that the guys with the big dicks that you uh, aspire to be yeah. don't get pussy whatsoever they don't get because pussy, women, yeah, they have the and men are like you're terrified. terrified. I know totally. a couple of dudes with huge dicks that it's a big problem for them. Uh, obviously, they can't, they can't fuck girls because the girls it just hurts too much. Yeah, Jack, have you ever had a too big of a dick? Yeah, we've talked about this before. Yeah, we've talked yeah. about oh, too yeah, big of a dick. Oh right, yeah, that's right. That's right. Which must have been I mean, it's obviously never been something I've experienced, but other girls, tinier women, I've heard. My roommate having sex with a tiny girl, um, and he had with like, a dude. Yeah, oh, oh. Uh, no, yeah, it was a dude that he had like a huge cock, and he was like this beautiful Adonis man, and he would choose these tiny fucking girls, and he would try and fuck them. And they're just like, ow, ah, uh, because they were too tiny. Yeah. He was Sounds too big. Love. I'm like, you need to find a bigger woman, yeah. someone that's had more play. Stretch it out a little bit, that's or <laughs> yeah, get poppers. That usually works. Poppers, yeah, poppers. That'll, you, that'll open you up real quick. A popper. popper? Yeah. What a popper, a, like, what is it, loosen your butt? Amyl nitrate, yeah. It kind of loosens your butt and makes you... Is that what they're doing with that? It chills out all in general. It chills I you out. I always wondered why. Really? What, what was the deal with the gay dudes and the poppers? Poppers is just for gel, like, like, is yeah, a... There's a good possibility of some poo-poo, though, hitting the wall there. Yeah. Well, you're supposed to take care of that beforehand. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, there's really there's a guy checking out first. That's you do the enema. That's a, that's like a that's a little-known talked-about thing, is the enema with the anal sex. Okay. Yeah, well, like get your know, ass uh, fucking spick and span, and mm-hmm. then you can do whatever. Yeah, like a, Mr. Like clean. Good clean. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> before Mr. Clean, before Mr. Dirty takes over. <laughs> yeah, you got to keep it clean. Well, you know what? I actually have a story that goes. Uh, Actually, it goes with that. Oh, great. Good, good. A Parkinson's sufferer has won a six-figure payout against a drug giant after his medication... Not yet. <laughs> after, after his medication turned him into a gay sex and gambling addict. I've heard about the what? gambling thing, but I've not heard about the gay sex thing with, with some of this medication stuff. Yeah, 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 It literally turns you into a crazy gambling addict. There's some medication out there... A particular med? Yeah, a Parkinson's it's bizarre. Side effects. Yeah. It's so, it turned into a gambling it was a, it was a radio, I think it was on This American Life. It, it, mm. There is certain medications out there where a side effect makes you like crazy with the slot machines. I'm yeah. dead serious. It makes you just like can't step away from the slot machines. You're like pissing yourself and shit. I mean, those people are so sad, too. Yeah. <laughs> well, Didier Jamba has been a well-respected man, an upstanding member of the community in Nantes, Western France, and a loving father and husband. I love that the way they described that. He was a well-respected man man, upstanding member of the community. Right. wasn't a faggot or anything. <laughs> well, no. I used the gambling Tell addiction the to be fair. Care. These are the friends. <laughs> well, I am reading this from the Daily Mail, which is a, a News Corp uh, holding. Right, right. So, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He was a fine, respected man. <laughs> but... It turns out he liked to fuck other fine, respected men. <laughs> but within two years of taking the drug Requip, Whoa. he was so addicted to both his vices, he sold his children's toys to raise money and advertised himself on the internet for sex. Oh, How much oh, money oh. did he raise? Oh, yeah, with children's, children's toys. toys. <laughs> <laughs> He's like an Xbox or something. I don't know. It's <laughs> France. You know? It turned him into a Grinch. I don't know how they do things <laughs> in France. <laughs> a gay Grinch returns. Can you please show this photo? I've been Use looking at it for toys. Too long. Yeah. Uh, here, here he is. Is that his wife? Oh, oh, no. He's gonna so get upset. Cheek by What's a, the caption to that picture? He's uh, crying. He's weeping. 
Well, Man his realizes wife his love him. for cock. With his wife, Christine, beside him, Mr. jean 52, cries as judges uphold his claim that his life had become hell after he started taking a drug to help his Parkinson's. So, I, so does he still have chance. Parkinson's then? I mean, I mean, I guess he's a, now he's not taking the drugs. Now I guess he's all like shaky and shit. Yeah, right? yeah. I would assume so. I yeah, mean, but that's just so he could jerk off guys better. They're, right. No, they're like, <laughs> they're like, there's a uh, another drug that's slightly more expensive that uh, merely <laughs> makes you horny for the same people you have been attracted to. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's fine. We put Is there around. a chance that he just used this as an excuse? That's what I, I was mean, thinking. Though. How do you? Uh, how I've do heard you of the gambling thing. Gay. I have not heard of the. Gay I mean, thing. with a with a drug, I just feel like it's so yes. ingrained. Yeah. Psychotropic in human drugs nature. break your brain down, and so a thing that you've been thinking for a long time suddenly goes away, and mm-hmm. it unlocks all these ancient Zelda yeah. rooms. <laughs> <laughs> Zelda's the woman, by the way. Well, Luke's he, is the man. He told the exactly. Thank yeah. you. He told the court that he had emptied his bank account, sold his children's toys and stolen money from work colleagues, friends, and neighbors. In total, he gambled away a total of 82,000 euros, mostly placing internet bets on horse races and engaged in a, quote, frantic search for gay sex. I hope that this all took place <laughs> in like a... Oh, get- Where's the butts? Where are the butts? <laughs> I hope that this took place in like a, a James Bond Monte Carlo type casino, <laughs> like where they have the clicky clicky kind of francs where it's like, I'll put 50,000 euros on on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this poor guy. So I'm telling you, I'm not buying the gay sex thing. I think that guy was just gay, and uh, but the uh, gambling is the uh, uh, side effect. But you know, if you didn't gamble before, I guess it plays to the same sort of uh, neuroses in the mind, right? You want to like, he just wants to go out and have a good time. I can't believe his wife is still sticking by him. You think she's just sticking by him to like wait for the loss? He might. To go he, he might through? hit it big. Yeah. 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 How much? Exactly. Actually, he's not getting. I mean, he's getting a lot for you know for people like us. Uh, but as far as sticking around, it's one hundred and sixty thousand pounds. But he only gambled eighty two. I mean, this is a winning bet. Yeah, it's like three hundred. It's like three hundred thousand dollars. That's great. Like that. Well, he's Pretty gonna good. die soon, right? If he's not on the so medication. So he just oh, hit the like, gay? Yeah. He literally no, just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's got AIDS immediately. No, he just had the two <laughs> greatest years of his life where he got to fuck everybody that he wanted to fuck and he got to gamble and then he just got paid 120 grand yeah, to do it. Yeah, because somebody probably found out about it. That's right. The, yeah, the goal. <laughs> no, it was that... It wasn't me! No, 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 my dick. <laughs> my dick has been coerced by a pill. That's Every a, picture of him, he's crying. He's yeah, very he's, sad. He's, he's very he's, sad. <laughs> oh, don't... I did it. Oh, I'll post all these sad. pictures on the Roundtable Facebook page. Yeah, he's yeah. so upset. Yeah, yeah. This guy's this guy. a fucking actor, man. You yeah, think yeah, so, yeah. Kevin? Yeah, You're not buying this story? You crying every single picture. He's the next Michael J. Fox. You just got fucking 120 grand or whatever it is. Uh, yeah, 300 be- grand. 300 grand, yeah. Wow. Are you allowed to, like, raise your hands up in a V and scream victory and be like, fooled you fucking assholes, I love dick. In, in private. In, in private, private. <laughs> as the as the credits roll as soon as in the mirror. While that's his wife when, cries when the judge the hits the gavel uh, and gives you the three hundred grand, could you just do that? I mean, because I think you, you <laughs> the law is done. Back. Throw your own confetti you up in the air and you start sucking multiple. So cops. Ben, you're on the grand jury. You that's get, right. You get this uh, case your your way. What do you do? Do you send it to trial or not? Well, it's not really what the grand jury would be deciding because this is a civil case. But I would um, take it all and put it on black. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. In this situation, I'd be like, let's go to trial, get this guy some sweet money, and uh, I'm going to let him know that I gave him all of that cash. He's going to take me out for dinner. We're going to go gambling. I'll fuck him. I don't give a shit what kind of pills I have to take to rationalize it. <laughs> and the next thing you know, I'm him. You know, I, I, he gave me a pill, and I just fucking blew this guy. I just, I just need like $200,000. Otherwise, it's like, fuck this company. <laughs> You know? I just want to see that commercial. It's like side effects include heart problems, like uh, more pockets. Raging need for ass. Like yeah. <laughs> he also people, started cross-dressing. If you experience homosexual thoughts, <laughs> talk to your doctor immediately. <laughs> right, right, right. Suck his dick. And suck his dick. <laughs> so he started cross-dressing as well. I mean, yeah. this guy, no. And attempted suicide three times. Well, that's just This guy's but, gay. This guy's very gay. He yeah. should just be gay. Anyway. Yeah. The gambling I, mean, I buy, France. Like I said, France. But. France is cool with that, right? They have right wing French people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. there's quite a bit of them. Yeah. I mean, the uh, left yeah, but they're mostly the rugby. No, no, no. They're all focused on Muslims, though. That's they the don't thing. like them. They don't beat you down for being gay over there. They just stick their nose up they're at like, you, yeah. which is like not. Oh. Yeah, yeah. They just right. make a little noise and they go back to their croissants. 
<laughs> we have a really good uh, grasp on French culture. That's what I, <laughs> that's what I figured out. I've been out. there once, man. They're How all kind of rude. They're they fun. all smoke they and they love cheese. They all smoke. They do love cheese. They love being at cafes. They're all a little bit rude. And uh, But I went to this fondue place where we drank wine out of baby bottles. So I was down I did, it. too. Yeah, I was in the same did. place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did the same place. It's just weird because it's Wait, the exact same. when did you go to France? When I was 19. Uh, it's the exact same stereotype as Wisconsin. But yeah, we think of Wisconsin as classless. Cause, uh, classless and the French is such upstanding citizens. But I think that's bullshit. They also speak French. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, oh, that's, that's the difference. right. And they're lovers. And all and they're you guys pleasant. got like what, Fond du Lac or something? That's as close as you come? Fond du Lac also- is a great town. Everyone out there in Fond du Lac, shout out, go pack. Also, you could get great wine for $1. You and can they're get all great wine over there, there for too. one I think euro, which is a dollar fifty. Fat- Wisconsin Everyone in Wisconsin is, is. And out, yeah. which it shouldn't be, but I think that uh, it's just because French are thin. I think it's because they're so angry. Mm-hmm. That it just Anger like does seeps uh, out of their lose pores. about twenty pounds. I can so. see the struggle, man. That's why a dude that deal with that. Man, you go over to France. There's all these beautiful dudes. They're all romantic and shit, right. eating croissants and whatnot. It's fucking. It's gotta be tough, man. You know. Gotta suck them dicks. Yeah. You have to suck multiple dicks. I'll tell you what, you can clean up in Italy because all the dudes are fucking pussy mamas boys. Yeah. So all the chicks want to fucking fuck the American dudes because they can do their own laundry and shit. They're it's also true. rapists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're totally. very grabby. Very did you, grabby. Did you fuck some chicks in Italy, uh, Holden? Uh, no, no, because I was a fucking idiot and had a long distance girlfriend at the time. <sighs> I was study abroad, but Dumb. man, Damn. like even my what. Even That's my Italian so teacher, stupid. like in college, was like, That's you what need affairs to go. Because she right. met uh, an English uh, or an American lawyer and ended up coming over with him. And she was like, all the American chicks, like all the hot uh, or Italian chicks want to just like bang the American dudes and get over to America. I saw it huh. firsthand, too. Because I saw these like pussy dudes and they would just be like, uh, uh, and they're like so moody and like bratty and shit. Cause yeah, they can't I got do I knew, themselves. I, I knew a guy uh, named Luigi from. Uh, <laughs> 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 I say he had a Mario. <laughs> he's the pizza. He had a nice white guy. He had a white jumpsuit. He's very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Super nice guy. But yeah, he did have that uh, aura about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can't do their own laundry. They can't cook their own meals. It's like mommy does that everything. Sounds great. And I would love want... to find a man. Like oh that. yeah, you want, want that? And they should take care of him too. Wait yeah, a second. Yeah. You took Italian in college? Yeah, I, t- I learned. Why? Some stuff. Bellissimo. Oh, <laughs> bellissimo. That is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's and supposed to be such an attractive language and then you know what he says and it's so ugly and gross and makes you want to die. Stop it. Okay. I'm a um, Why do you turn into like an invertebrate when you start speaking like that? Like, oh, it's not good. Yeah, All right. Thing, man. All right, well, we got one more story before we get to our segment. And I'm noticing a theme about these stories today. Yeah, yeah. You know what? It is totally a coincidence. It is right, not right. because you're here. It is absolutely a coincidence. Is this another faggot What's this story? <laughs> That's yeah, three. So ironic. Nice. Uh, a soccer coach witnessed. James has left. <laughs> a, soc- a soccer coach witnessed a teenage boy being sodomized by teammates, then congratulated the victim, asking, quote, if it was all good. <laughs> was it? Oh, the new so allegations sad. on Wednesday concern an incident in July involving coach Michael DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo. Oh, and Miguel DiVincenzo. <laughs> known, to, so gross. known to students as Devo, who <laughs> reportedly <laughs> told... Grab that whip. I bet it feel good. <laughs> he told uh, older players to assault freshmen. The fresh came, claim came to light after three boys were allegedly sexually assaulted in a hazing ritual in Maine. And this happened in, uh, oh no, it was Maine West High School in Des Plaines, Illinois. So this oh, is Illinois. Oh, Illinois. Des Plaines. Des Plaines. Uh, yeah, yeah. It has been uh, alleged that three boys were shoved to the ground and beaten by the older members of the varsity team. The players then held them down, pulled down their pants, tore off their underwear, and sodomized each of them. Ben, this happened Why to you. Why do they always have to oh. rip off the underwear? I mean, does this guy really have to leave with... The ripped underwear. Also, beat what did they sodomize them? Beat them up. I mean, they don't say what the object was. But oh. this, I mean, but this, this happened to you. All right. Well, a we don't basketball. all have to talk about the basketball trophy story. Why do you have to show dominance in that way? It's enough to beat them up. Definitely make them put on lipstick and run around the fucking schoolyard without their pants on. I put That's a mousetrap up my butt just in case any of that happened. Yeah, good <laughs> idea. Anti-rape. Very good. That's ugh. It's just James Adomi, an anti-rape kit. You can get it at AdamandEve.com. <laughs> <laughs> Literally just a mousetrap. No, it reminds me of the, the and a book of witticisms. <laughs> 
Just type in, don't rate me at the uh, checkout. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so what's happening to these kids? Uh, well, the, all the coaches are fired. Uh, the six students are being sent to juvenile all court. All the coaches? Even the defensive coordinator? <laughs> Come on, but we need them. Oh, man, uh, I wonder they, if they're going to get, like, all sleepers on those kids that went to juvie. Ooh. Remember sleepers, that movie? Sleepers, a great movie. Yeah, great movie. Oh, man. Actually, yeah. sleepers traumatized great. me. I saw it in the theaters when I was, like, 12 years sleepers old. My brothers me brought up. me, and uh, I was crying, and uh, it was awful. A yeah. lot of kids suck a lot of male penis in that. Oh, you know, Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's about. And then they kill the people, which is pretty cool. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, there was a kid uh, in, when I was in high school got a coat hanger shoved up his ass. Well, absolutely. you got to kill that baby that's inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, full circle. Yeah. Home segment. Yeah. All right. So you got to walk one day in a round table of shoes. I'm extending this to Henry and Ed, by the way, if you want to be Henry or Ed for a day. No, and no. what would you do on that day? I'll start. I'll keep it pretty brief. I'd be Kevin Barnett, all right, because then I'd know what it'd be like to be cool. Uh, I'd wake up. I'd fuck up all of his Halo 4 scores, which would be a real issue when he woke up back in his shoes. Yeah. And then uh, I think I'd go just fucking go out to some field or something and do backflips. For literally like eight hours, yeah, <laughs> I just do backflips. Awesome. And then you do that, yeah, oh no, yeah. yeah, I could just be, yeah. If I'm in his body, I could do mad backflips. Okay. Yeah. Fucking would rule. And then I would go you use it the way it should be used. That's exactly, yeah. <laughs> and then I'd go and I'd uh, just like try to fuck and probably would fuck a bunch of Asian chicks, which yeah. I've never done. So I think really? it'd be kind of fun to do. Yeah, because I'm sexually racist. But if Sideways I was Kevin vagina. Barnett, <laughs> I'd like think their butts were fucking awesome, and I'd yeah. like be real into their like weird eyes and stuff. So I'd fuck them. <laughs> Kevin. Sounds good. <laughs> I, don't, I, would, I would like one, to be Marcus, man. and I would like uh, I would like to be you, Marcus, and then ah. I would like to uh, have me come in and record a bunch of shows, so then I could be you watching me speaking wonderful words because your life is so good because you get to hear me talk all the time. <laughs> That's good. That was nice. That's kind of good for you that you you know. Sometimes would... the real life is the Twilight Zone. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay, that was sweet, Ben. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh-huh. I know. I, I want to be uh, Ed Larson for a day. Of course. I want to be. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, are you here, Ed? Ed, how is LA? Yeah, I love you. We can go out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I've always wanted to be Jewish, a, eh? and that would be awesome. Also, I've it's always not wanted. Jewish. He is Jewish. His mother's not Jewish. It's he's half Jew and more Jew than I am. And also, I'd love to smell like deli meat all day and still have women be attracted to me. And then I'd also love to like treat women like shit and then still want to fuck me. Like I'd get like the dumbest, hottest blonde girl with the biggest digit. Mm. Eddie, you're so funny. I'm like, like shut oh, up. shut up, you fucking bitch. Hey, I'd do that like, shit. Shut up. <laughs> Does kind of remind me of the generic stepdad who steps in and is like, "Hey, it's fun now. The next five years, <laughs> <laughs> I'm never gonna see you, talk to you again. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna introduce your mom to meth." <laughs> <laughs> but he's always having a great time. I want to have a great time Absolutely. always. Done and done. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus, right, who right. do you want to be, bud? Me? Yeah. I didn't know I was playing. I mean, you are now. All right. I guess I am. I suppose. I would probably want to be Jackie. Oh, one me though, but me. You know, I almost Nobody. became you. I almost became you. Ugh. You know what it's uh, like to be a lizard Why would you want to be day? inside oh. of you? Yeah, wait a minute, so wait a minute. Gross. Oh, no, see, that's the thing, is that if I was you, I would have to fuck Doug. Fuck Doug. Yeah. yeah. And I can't do that. You can also and take like, a day off of having sex. <laughs> no, that's uh, not, that's see, well, that's the thing, though, is that I want to have sex as a woman. I want to feel I want to feel the other side. I want to feel. I want to see what it feels like. I also appreciate that you're not going into, like, ruin me because you could fuck a bunch of other dudes and then just ruin my life. Well, I don't want to do that. Thank you, And Marcus. the only person that I could fuck would be Doug. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'd be Holden. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I love horror movies. Yeah, dude. And we all know that. And, uh, man... What a horror movie that would be. fun and scary. Go to the insurance firm, work there for <laughs> fucking seven hours. <laughs> yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh! It would still be you, fun. Kevin? Uh, I think I would want to be Kissel, man. I want right, to be right. you. Have a good time. So I can spend a day in the mirror looking at my horrifying body. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at that, and it would be That's gross. But I would also live Thank in your you house know. so I could go into Holden's room at night and take a shit on his bed. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that would be amazing. I just honestly believe everything that you said would make my life better. Yeah, that's so the like, thing. Thank you, Kevin. That's I wake great. up the next day and Holden's like, "You shat on my bed." I'd be like, "That wasn't me." <laughs> Was Kevin? It? Kevin, come back to me. <laughs> I think you had some really good ideas, mainly the one where you decided to shit on Holden's bed. <laughs> James what do you got, got, James? I, know. I, uh, I think I would have to jump into Kevin Barnett. Oh, what yeah. are you going to do with Kevin? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're doing. We have some double <laughs> entendres here. Yeah. But it's fine. Yeah, I'd have to jump into Kevin and uh, and just, I would probably, it would just be a day full of masturbating like in front of the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> Although, I would like to also it would be, be Kevin because... Most loving, yeah. It would be also very athletic. Like, I feel like it would be awesome to be able to, like, run for two miles and not get winded. And I, after the fifth time coming, like, before two o'clock in the afternoon, I would <laughs> open up a window and just be like, this is my body! <laughs> right, 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 right. I don't know if Barnett can come that many times before 2 p.m. Uh, yeah, see, you know he masturbates, like, once a month. Really? Yeah, I barely do but it. That he's all saved up, up. So oh, yeah, I mean, he'd yeah. be like, yeah. <laughs> oh, no management. No management <laughs> issue. Yeah, exactly. Believe me, it would be fine. I like that no one chose Henry because why would you want to be him? I yeah. mean, that's the, the fact thing. that he's got like pussy juices all over him all the time. That's no, kind of fun. Yeah. I know it. And you know what? The thing is, the I reason... order showers from pussy juice showers. showers. <laughs> I, w- I was gonna <laughs> say Henry just because I love ordering food and I love <laughs> yeah. I love eating. But you know what? He's on this flax style. It now, mm. and so flax-y. I feel like you go into his flax. body. He's he's loving the flax. Have you seen him? He's lost like forty pounds. He's like lost, a, yeah, he fuck, and you know, and like that's how fat he was, you know, because he's still fat. And then yeah, he, got it. he, he looks just, wonderful. God damn no, it! No, 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 no. Yeah, he just can't go Jonah Hill on us, you know. Like he no, can't he go never will. Like, funny we fat guy. We've had to, a good talk. Yeah, you did. That's as thin as he's going to get. Already funnier than either Jonah Hill incarnation. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Jonah Hill's a great comedian, and but of course he's no Henry Zabrowski. Zabrowski is the best, and I mean, all of us I mean, would love to trade. I mean, that's the no-brainer, is that uh, if Henry you're Henry Zabrowski. for a day, you get to be in a Scorsese movie. So yeah. maybe if you, but I feel like I would fuck it up. I'd go in. I oh, wouldn't yeah. have the skills. Right, right, exactly. Fuck you up would a just whole fail. day of shooting. I'd set him behind for a day. I'd put his job in jeopardy, so I don't think I could do Yeah, man, it's like in Dragon Ball Z when Captain Ginyu switched bodies nope. with Goku and he yeah, didn't yeah, understand how to use his body. That's Y'all get thing. that reference? That's the thing. I do, Somebody actually. Somebody did. I remember Somebody that did. series episodes. Uh, <laughs> I guess it would be hard to operate, huh? Yeah, man. Oh, I walk a different way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. Um, I'm very used to this body. I like it. You do yeah, good with it. Thank you. All right, everybody. Mostly. Henry, we love you. Ed, Thank we you. love you. I walk uh, a little strange, but Ed, it's fine. Ed, can my you close out? Are green. <laughs> One of my <laughs> legs is longer than the other. Ed, can you close <laughs> out the show, please? Oh, oh, hey, my guy. <laughs> 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 we'll talk to you later. Ed just threw up all over the table. <laughs>